Getting a box from a galaxy far, far away. What's inside the Star Wars Bring Home the Bounty Press Media Mailer Box? First of all, I'd like to thank the folks over at Hasbro that sent my way this giant box that we could unbox here on this channel. So big, in fact, in fact, I actually have to do this on the floor because of the size of this box. I don't know if you can gauge it just by my hands alone how big this box is going to be. I have not yet checked the contents out, but will do shortly. And of course, all the stuff provided inside from Hasbro, once again, are free product that we're going to be looking at in some upcoming videos. Getting the box now opened up, I've already taken the liberty of opening up the side flaps. We're gonna open up the box. Unfortunately, now doing this also inside because it was way too cold to be doing this outside, it means unfortunately it's gonna be a little echoey in here, so apologies in advance. Hashtag bring home the bounty. Let's open up the box and check out the contents of what we've got inside from Hasbro. And there's certainly a lot of stuff to cover off here. Starting first, we've got ourselves a Star Wars bring home the bounty. Bring home the bounty with Hasbro, Star Wars. Star Wars collection from Hasbro is eager to continue the celebration of Lucasfilm's Bring Home the Bounty campaign, where fans can keep gearing up for awesome new reveals every Tuesday through December 28th. Fans can expect tons of amazing products-inspired, award-winning shows like Mandalorian, classic Star Wars films, and the Star Wars animated series, and more. Head over to bringhomethebounty.com which again, I'll provide the link also down below in the video description, to see all the new product reveals, as well as HasbroPulse.com, UK.com, HasbroPulse.com, and Hasbro Pulse Instagram page for the latest toys and action figures from Hasbro. Celebrate Bring Home the Bounty with this special package from Hasbro. You'll be able to imagine your favorite moments from across the galaxy with the latest action figures, role-playing items, and entertainment-inspired toys from an array of your favorite Star Wars lines. To participate in even more fun, bring home this bounty of products to your social channels and share with your audiences using the hashtag Hasbro, hashtag Star Wars, hashtag bring home the bounty. Starting things off first, this did catch my attention. Included inside the box is the Galactic Snacking Grogu. I did actually see this at my local Toys R Us. It seems to be animatronic for interactive accessories. And I think it also does have voices in there as well. Includes batteries. Uh, in this case, it looks like double A batteries. Yeah, four double A batteries. That's going to be pretty fun to kind of have a look at. And we'll have a look at the back of the box. It says, hmm, it was. I guess it's going to be a little bit hungry. And it does have 40 plus cute sounds and motion combos. It also has force moves as well. That's going to be fun to have a look at here on this channel. To go along with that, Looks like Hasbro has also sent over a plush Grogu. What an adorable little guy. Looks like he can fold himself up inside. Looks like he's almost like a popple. Remember the popples back in the day that could fold up inside? It looks like this could be the case as well. Does it fold up inside his little tiny chair? Cute little tiny baby Grogu. We also have to go along with that. A couple of Star Wars Mandalorian the Child PVC statues. This one happens to have a mug. I I thought I saw another one in here as well. Maybe it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. We also have inside a Star Wars Mace Windu lightsaber force. Or from the Star Wars lightsaber force. Where you can actually put together and build your very own lightsaber. Also included inside. We have ourselves a Monopoly. A Star Wars, specifically Star Wars The Mandalorian Monopoly. If you are a big fan of The Mandalorian and you love Monopoly. I love Monopoly. I Probably have like, oh, at least 10 monopolies of different franchises. This one's definitely going to be fun as well. Still has Pasco. Does it have a prison? Yeah, there's the jail right there. And it comes with the different token pieces. Of course, you're going to have to include a baby Grogu. There he is right there. Different color also from some of the other characters as well. I see some of the troopers. I see Ahsoka. Very, very cool. Looking forward to playing that as well. One other thing inside the box as well is, of course, the FTC guidelines, just to indicate that, in fact, this product was provided free to me from the folks over at Hasbro. Then move that to the side. We also have ourselves inside Costco Reeves from Star Wars Mandalorian. That's a nice-looking figure. 
go along with it. Speaking of the Mandalorian, we also have the Mandalorian as, uh, is this still considered the Black Series or more the Classic Series? But it's a larger scale Mandalorian. That's what it looks like on the back there as well. That's going to be a fun one to get a look at. We also have the Mandalorian Grief Karga, which I guess could also stand in for Dylan from also Predator. Same actor. It was also Apollo Creed, of course, in the original uh, original Rocky, Rocky 1 and Rocky 2. I guess he was technically in Rocky 4 too, one of my personal favorites. Also got inside here a, this is the Armorer, also from the Star Wars Mandalorian. Comes with a couple of accessories. I love how they've given it the Kenner-inspired packaging. Almost too good to really open up, but we're going to, of course, have a look at these on the channel here. Uh, it's slightly smaller. We have IG-11. Again, like the packaging is so good on these. Advertised on the back, some of the other characters, the Emperor IG-11. We've got Luke Skywalker from Hoth, Lando Calrissian, the Emperor's Royal Guard, Admiral Akbar, Han Solo from Endor, and Tebow. To get, to get included also inside, we've got the Star Wars The Bounty Collection Mandalorian Child. Now this looks like it's I guess it's a little poseable figure. It comes included with a blanket, comes included with some food. So it's, of course, inside his little pod chair. I would imagine maybe it isn't poseable. Maybe it's actually just a PVC statue. But even if it is, it looks like it's going to be fun, especially to display him in his chair like that. But wait, there's still more. Let's go ahead and have a look at the rest of the contents here. Inside, we've got the Emperor. I don't know how I'm feeling about the Emperor's face here. I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Sort of has a weird look on his face, like he's just... Somebody's caught him pulling cookies from the cookie jar. Again, on the classic style packaging. We also have ourselves Moff Gideon. A smaller scale, three and three quarter inch figure. They also took the liberty of sending over Luke Skywalker, an original Luke Skywalker. Complete with lightsaber and his goggles. I like that they did actually give him a cloth costume as opposed to giving him PVC plastic. Certainly makes removing his arms a little bit easier. Uh, included as well, we have the Shore Trooper. I really like the look of the Shore Trooper. In a bit, it reminds me of like the Scout Troopers from Return of the Jedi. Again, on the more vintage style packaging. Right down below, there's the part of the vintage Star Wars collection. We also have inside ourselves the Mandalorian and Grogu set. And again, it looks like Grogu. Doesn't look like they've painted his eyes, unfortunately, though. Unless his eyes are actually closed. Comes included with the pod. Comes, of course, with the Mandalorian himself. And comes also with his gun as well. Uh, we have... I knew there was going to be another one in here. I thought I saw one earlier. There's the Star Wars Mandalorian child. Now the PVC figure that we can look at. I'm going to probably look at a couple of those during one video. Also included, they sent over a Star Wars Darth Vader lightsaber. From the new Star Wars lightsaber force. Big, big fan of Darth Vader's lightsaber. I think my favorite lightsaber is still Luke Skywalker's Return of the Jedi. I really like the look of the green one. On the same lines of a lightsaber, we also got Darth Maul's from the Star Wars lightsaber force. Let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite Star Wars lightsaber is. Again, my favorite is the green from Return of the Jedi, but what is yours? Let me know down below in the comments section. And the very last thing, the last thing sent over by Hasbro is the actual ship, the Razor Crest. Comes included, I think, with Grogu and the Mandalorian. It doesn't look like they're sold separately. They're not quite the three and three quarter inch scale figures. In fact, they're kind of more little stylized figures, but still comes with tons of accessories. And if you did want yourself a smaller version of the Razor Crest, this certainly fits the bill. So, as you can probably guess it, there's going to be a ton of Star Wars reviews coming your way to this channel. Again, all thanks to the folks over at Hasbro, who took the time and sent this mailer box my way. Not only did we get ourselves some classic Star Wars characters from Return of the Jedi, there's stuff here from The Power of the Force, there's stuff from The Mandalorian, and there's also smaller kids' toys, and also in the Monopoly. We're probably looking to play that sometime soon. Again, a big thank you, though, to the folks over at Hasbro that did, in fact, take the time and send this free product my way that we're going to be having a look at in upcoming reviews. 
If you guys are a big fan of Star Wars, certainly make sure you're keeping your peepers peeled to this channel because there will be a whole bunch of Star Wars reviews coming your way. So as well, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below if you're new to this channel. Make sure as well you turn on the bell notification. So yeah, you're getting those friendly reminders of whenever new videos are popping up. And just again, a reminder, keep your peepers peeled. There's going to be a ton of Star Wars reviews coming your way in the not so distant future in a galaxy far, far away. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.